the gateway to hell may soon be closed. Now, the president of Turkmenistan has ordered his officials to find a way to put out a fire that's been burning for decades. As humans, our innate curiosity often drives us to uncover extraordinary truths. However, it's worth noting a peculiar aspect of our species, our tendency to adopt a sense of superiority. We often believe we have dominion over the world, allowing us to act as we please. Yet there are certain sights that perhaps should have remained veiled. From the mysterious depths of the ocean to the haunting aftermath of disasters, join us as we uncover 20 things that were never meant for human eyes. Number 20. Door to Hell. It's not a spooky movie set, but a real crater in the middle of the desert that's been on fire for over 50 years. This massive pit, also known as the Darvaza Gas Crater, might look like a real entrance to the underworld, but it's actually man-made. Now, the president of Turkmenistan has ordered his officials to find a way to put out a fire that's been burning for decades in a huge desert crater nicknamed the Gateway to Hell. The story goes back to the 1970s when Soviet geologists were searching for oil. They found something all right, a cavern filled with natural gas. Unfortunately, their drilling rig accidentally punctured the cavern, causing the ground to collapse and create a huge hole roughly 30 meters deep and 70 meters wide. Worried about releasing harmful methane gas, the geologists decided to do something risky, set the gas on fire. Their hope was that it would burn off quickly, within a few weeks. Well, let's just say their calculations were way off. The gas is still burning to this day, creating a truly mesmerizing yet slightly eerie spectacle. However, despite being a natural wonder, the Darvaza gas crater doesn't see many tourists. This is partly due to the location. The crater is situated in Turkmenistan, a country known for its extreme isolation, ranking second only to North Korea. Tourists can only leave the capital city with a registered tour guide, and the country as a whole only receives around 10,000 tourists per year. Number 19. Breathing Forest Have you ever seen a video that makes you truly appreciate the wonders of nature? Because this one's a real head-scratcher. This video showcases a truly remarkable phenomenon, a breathing forest. The forest floor appears to rise and fall gently, almost like a human taking a breath. Needless to say, this went viral, leaving viewers both amazed and creeped out. Some even took it as a metaphor for the negative impact of human activities like deforestation and urbanization on the environment. But before we jump to conclusions, there's actually a perfectly logical explanation for this seemingly breathing forest. The secret lies in the wind. Strong winds were swaying the trees back and forth. And it's the root system underneath the ground that caused the forest floor to rise and fall in response. This creates the illusion of the forest breathing. Number 18. Ghost Army of the World War World War II was a time when strategies and secrets played a crucial role in the outcome. Today, we're diving into one of the lesser-known yet fascinating tactics employed, the Ghost Army. I was 19 years old. Bernie Bluestein was an art student, handpicked to be part of the 23rd Headquarters Special Troops, now known as the Ghost Army. Well, I didn't know what to think. I had no idea what our missions would be. This wasn't your typical military unit. Forget tanks and guns. The Ghost Army, officially known as the 23rd Headquarters Special Troops, was a unique group of artists, actors, designers, and sound engineers. Their mission was to deceive the German forces by creating an illusion of strength and movement where none actually existed. Their weapons weren't your typical military hardware. Instead, they wielded inflatable tanks, fake radio transmissions, and clever sound effects. One of the most intriguing aspects of their operation was the use of inflatable tanks. These rubber replicas of M4 Sherman tanks, when inflated, looked realistic enough from afar to fool enemy recon and spies. But the deception didn't stop there. They also had inflatable jeeps and artillery pieces, all intended to create the mirage of a powerful, heavily armed force. The goal was to make the Germans rethink their strategies and divert resources away from actual Allied operations. The Ghost Army didn't just rely on visuals. Sound engineers were tasked with creating recordings that mimicked the noise of tank treads, troop movements, 
and bustling army camps. These sounds were played over loudspeakers, further adding to the illusion of a significant presence. Every sound that is part of the bridge building operation is picked up by this microphone, carried through this cable, and recorded inside this sound recording truck. On this turntable, exactly the way a phonograph record is made. And then there were the radio operators. They transmitted fake messages, deliberately letting snippets of misleading information fall into the hands of German interceptors. This often led the enemy to believe in non-existent troop movements, prompting them to make strategic mistakes. Number 17. Glowing Water Ever think you've seen all the amazing things the world has to offer? Well, hold on a minute, because glowing ocean waves might just blow your mind. These aren't your average waves crashing on the shore. These beauties light up the night with an ethereal glow. You can find them in a few different oceans around the world. And let me tell you, they're a sight to behold. So what causes this mesmerizing phenomenon? It all boils down to tiny algae in the water that have a special ability called bioluminescence. They basically light up from within, and when the waves crash or the water gets disturbed, these tiny organisms create a magical display. But there's a catch. These glowing waves are only visible at night, adding to their mysterious charm. Now, nature is full of stunning beauty, but it can also be powerful and even dangerous. It's important to remember that these bioluminescent algae blooms can sometimes be linked to red tides. This happens when the algae grows out of control, turning the water red and releasing harmful toxins. Number 16. Elephant's Foot in Chernobyl It's now clear that the Soviet Union has suffered one of the worst disasters in the history of nuclear power. Massive quantities of radiation have apparently been released. This chunk of nuclear material, formed in the aftermath of the 1986 disaster, lies deep within the remains of the Chernobyl power plant. It's a solidified mass of curium, a highly radioactive element born from the meltdown of nuclear fuel rods. These rods reacted with the surrounding concrete and steel, creating this dangerous remnant. When first discovered just days after the explosion, the elephant's foot emitted radiation so lethal that a few minutes of exposure would guarantee a fatal outcome. It even generated its own heat, and the air around it glowed an eerie blue due to a phenomenon called Cherenkov radiation. Approaching the elephant's foot was simply too risky for human workers. Instead, they used remotely controlled machinery to survey the area. To capture its image, they ingeniously used mirrors to avoid directly exposing cameras to the lethal radiation. These photos revealed a dense, solid mass, resembling, you guessed it, an elephant's foot, both in shape and texture. Number 15. Black Hole as you've probably heard in movies and books, black holes are often portrayed as these cosmic vacuum cleaners, sucking up everything in their path and transporting you to another dimension. But what are they really? And why are they so mysterious? A black hole is basically an astronomical object with gravity so strong that nothing can escape its pull, not even light. It's like a cosmic one-way street. Things can fall in, but nothing ever comes back out. There's still a lot we don't know about these mind-bending objects, but recently, we took a giant leap forward in understanding them. Scientists were able to capture the first ever picture of a black hole. Scientists today showed off the first picture of a black hole. Albert Einstein's theories predicted the existence of these mysterious bodies. Now we have seen one. This particular one is over 50 million light years away, and just like many others, it doesn't allow anything not stars, planets, dust, not even light, to escape its grasp. Now imagine if our planet were close enough to a black hole. We wouldn't stand a chance. We'd be pulled in just like everything else. And what happens then? That's the big question scientists are still trying to answer. Some theories suggest another dimension, an infinite void, or even an alternate universe. It's pretty mind-boggling. While the concept of black holes might seem scary, NASA assures us there's no need to panic. Unlike how they're often portrayed, they're not roaming around the universe gobbling everything up. They actually form naturally when the core of a massive star collapses in on itself. Think about our sun. It's the biggest object in our solar system, but it's still not big enough to become a black hole. You could fit over 1.3 million Earths inside the sun. 
Now imagine stars much, much bigger than our sun collapsing. That's when you get a black hole. Number 14, Snake Island. So being told I was going to a tiny speck of land off Brazil, inhabited by thousands of the most venomous vipers in the world, had me a little freaked out. This island lies 20 miles off the coast of Brazil, and as the name suggests, it's crawling with snakes. Not just any snakes, mind you, but golden lancehead pit vipers, one of the world's most venomous snakes. Yeah, they call it Snake Island. It's off the coast of Brazil, and it's crawling with venomous pit vipers that are now at the center of a mystery. Estimates suggest there could be anywhere between one and five snakes per square meter. That's practically a guaranteed encounter with a slithery neighbor every step you take. So how did these legless residents end up on this isolated island? The truth is, we're not entirely sure. But the most likely theory is that they got trapped there after the last ice age ended over 11,000 years ago. Rising sea levels cut them off from the mainland, leaving them stranded on their own little snake kingdom. Being isolated and lacking ground prey, these snakes had to adapt to survive. They became more venomous, relying on hunting birds for food. Their venom is so potent, it can actually melt human flesh. No wonder the Brazilian government strictly prohibits anyone from visiting the island, with only a few exceptions made for scientists and researchers. Even these professionals take extreme precautions when venturing onto Snake Island, because the danger is very real. Anyone who chooses to ignore the warnings is essentially gambling with their life. Number 13, Aokigahara. This is the most haunted place in Japan, and in my opinion, the most haunted place in the world. The Aokigahara Forest in Japan is a place of stark contrast. While its lush greenery and towering trees paint a picture of serenity, it's unfortunately gained a reputation for a much darker reason. We are here right now in Aokigahara. This is one of the darkest forests in the entire world. This beautiful forest has become a known location for people contemplating suicide. Since the 1950s, the number of deaths in the area has tragically risen, with over 200 people attempting to take their own lives there in 2010 alone. The dense foliage and maze-like layout, aptly nicknamed the Sea of Trees, make it easy to get lost, adding another layer of concern. It's important to note that entering the forest isn't forbidden, but certain areas are restricted due to the high risk of getting disoriented. Efforts are being made to prevent further tragedies. Signs reading messages like, your life is a precious gift from your parents, and please consult someone, are scattered throughout the forest to encourage people seeking help. While these efforts are commendable, the issue persists. Number 12. Blue Lava. Blue Lava, also known as API Biru or Sulfur Fire, isn't your typical lava flow. Instead of the usual red-orange glow, blue lava burns with an electric blue flame. This mesmerizing sight occurs when sulfur, a chemical element, ignites. The burning sulfur creates a flame that resembles lava, hence the name. But hold on a second. Before you start picturing rivers of blue lava flowing down volcanoes, it's important to remember that this isn't actual lava. It's a sulfuric flame that appears like lava due to its color and flow. Most of these blue flames can be found on Indonesia's Kawa'i Jen volcano, where they burn almost constantly. Did you know a volcano in Indonesia spews out blue lava? This location is also known as the Blue Volcano and is famous for its sulfur mining activities. Now, while the sight of these blue flames might be breathtaking, especially at night, it's crucial to remember that volcanic gases are extremely dangerous. Inhaling these fumes can be deadly, so admiring them from a safe distance is key. Speaking of hot stuff, did you know that real lava, the red-orange kind, reaches temperatures between 700 and 1,250 degrees Celsius? Interestingly, if true blue lava existed on Earth, it would need to be significantly hotter, reaching a scorching 6,000 degrees Celsius. Number 11. Blood Falls Antarctica is one of the most unexplored places on Earth. The brutal conditions and frigid temperatures have made it a tough nut to crack for scientists for years. Even today, much of Antarctica remains shrouded in mystery. We do know a few things, though. For instance, Antarctica holds over 70% of all the Earth's ice. But it's not just a frozen wasteland. Back in 1911, scientists stumbled upon something truly extraordinary, a frozen waterfall spewing crimson water. They aptly named it Blood Falls. 
The stark contrast of the red water against the white ice makes it look like the glacier is bleeding from an unseen wound. For a long time, scientists scratched their heads, trying to figure out what caused the water's eerie color. I think of the glacier having its period. Okay. Many suspected it was red algae, but after years of research, the real culprit was finally revealed. Iron-rich brine. So it's one of those challenging mysteries to study, and it always keeps me guessing. Underneath the Blood Falls Glacier lies a complex network of ancient subglacial lakes and rivers. The high concentration of iron in this brine gives the water its distinctive blood-red hue. This discovery has opened a whole new door for scientists. These subglacial lakes and rivers, trapped beneath the ice for roughly two million years, could potentially harbor microscopic life we never even knew existed. Imagine that. Microbial life thriving in a place with no sunlight, minimal oxygen, extreme cold, and high salinity. It makes you wonder if these microbes can survive in Earth's most extreme environment. Could they also exist in similar frozen water bodies on other planets like Mars? Number 10. Fish with human face. Have you ever been enjoying a peaceful moment by a lake when suddenly you see something completely bizarre? That's exactly what happened to someone in November 2019, and the internet went wild. Imagine this. You're taking in the scenery by a lake, minding your own business, when you see a fish with a human face staring back at you. It's enough to make anyone do a double take. A short video of this suspicious creature surfaced online, and it quickly gained millions of views. People all over the world were expressing a mix of disgust and fear. In the video, the fish appears to have two eyes, a nose, and even a mouth, just like a human being. This human fish was reportedly spotted in a lake near a village outside Kunming City in southern China. It's true, the fish does look a bit creepy at first glance, especially with its head poking out of the water like that. But hold on, before you jump to any conclusions, there's a scientific explanation for this phenomenon. While it may seem like magic, the human-like face is actually an illusion created by the fish's natural markings. Several carp around the world have been seen with similar markings, and believe it or not, these human-faced carp are actually quite valuable. In China, some collectors are willing to pay thousands of dollars for these rare fish. Number 9. Armadillo Ball The armadillo is a fascinating mammal found in South America. Its name perfectly describes its most prominent feature, its armor. Just take a look at one. It's like a tiny walking tank with a unique outer shell that covers its entire body, from head to tail. Unlike other armored animals, though, the three-banded armadillo has a special trick. It can roll up into a ball when threatened. Imagine a little armored sphere. This amazing feat is achieved by the three-banded armadillo folding its body in half and tucking its head, legs, and tail inside its shell. The tail then curls up and presses against the head, creating a tightly sealed ball with virtually no exposed flesh for predators to attack. This armor is called a carapace and it's a marvel of nature. It's made up of two main parts, bone and a tough tissue coating called scutes. These scutes, numbering around 2,000, are made of the same protein as our hair and nails, keratin. While the nine-banded armadillo is the only species found in the United States, these fascinating creatures are actually newcomers there. Their ancestors first arrived in South America around 100 million years ago. Today, there are 20 different armadillo species, each with its own unique size and shape, living in countries like Brazil, Bolivia, Paraguay, and Argentina. Number 8. Waters Meeting Ever seen a photo of two bodies of water meeting but with a clear line separating them, almost like an invisible barrier? It might seem like something out of Photoshop, but it's actually a real phenomenon that occurs at the Fraser River Delta near Vancouver, Canada. Here, the fresh water from the Fraser River meets the salt water of the Strait of Georgia, and they create a stunning visual effect. Despite flowing side by side, the two bodies of water remarkably stay separate, with a distinct line marking their boundary. But what causes this fascinating separation? Well, science has the answer. The key lies in the differences between the two water sources, their temperature, salinity, and density. The Fraser River carries fresh water, which is typically colder, less dense, and less salty than ocean water. So when it meets the denser salt water of the Strait of Georgia, they don't readily mix. Instead, 
The fresh water tends to flow over the top of the salt water, creating that visible separation line. It's truly amazing to witness this natural wonder in person. On one side, you see the greenish, murky fresh water of the river, and on the other, the deep blue salt water of the ocean. Number 7. Underwater Nuclear Tests These tests, primarily conducted by the United States during the Cold War, were a chilling display of nuclear power and a stark reminder of its devastating consequences. Imagine this, a powerful explosion erupting beneath the water's surface. This wasn't a scene from a movie. It was a reality of the Cold War, a time when countries competed fiercely to demonstrate their nuclear capabilities. One of the most infamous testing grounds was the Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands. Here, underwater detonations unleashed immense shock waves, instantly obliterating marine life within the blast zone. Ships, intentionally anchored nearby for observation, were engulfed by towering waves, showcasing the unbelievable force of these nuclear blasts. But the destruction wasn't just immediate. The surrounding water became irradiated, leading to a phenomenon called radioactive rain. This contaminated rain posed a significant threat, poisoning both land and sea. As radioactive materials entered the ocean's food chain, it triggered a cascade of environmental damage, impacting everything from tiny plankton to large predators. The consequences extended far beyond marine life. Communities living near the test sites, especially in the Pacific, began experiencing alarming health issues. Cases of radiation-induced illnesses like cancer and birth defects surged dramatically. Their homelands, now saturated with radiation, became silent threats, forcing heartbreaking relocations of entire indigenous populations. Number 6. Coca-Cola Recipe Coca-Cola is one of the most recognizable drinks on the planet. It's available in almost every country of the world, making it a true global phenomenon. Coca-Cola was invented by John Pemberton, and before he passed away in 1888, he shared the original recipe with at least four people. In 1891, Asa Candler bought the formula from Pemberton's estate, marking the birth of the Coca-Cola company. Ever since then, the recipe for this iconic beverage has been a closely guarded secret. It's not just any ordinary recipe, mind you. This formula is considered extremely valuable, and many companies back in the day would have done anything to get their hands on it. Today, the written recipe is kept safe in a secure vault at the World of Coca-Cola headquarters in Atlanta. While visitors can tour the vault, that's as close as anyone gets to the actual formula. According to the Coca-Cola company, only two people know the complete recipe at any given time. And to add another layer of secrecy, these two individuals aren't allowed to travel together. If one of them is unable to fulfill their duties, the other one gets to choose a successor within the company to inherit the secret recipe. Needless to say, the identities of these two employees are also kept under wraps. So, not only is Coca-Cola one of the most popular drinks in the world, it also holds the title of the most secretive. While you might find various Coca-Cola recipes online, getting the right ingredients and their exact proportions is likely an almost impossible task. Before we move on, here's today's subscribers pick. Today's pick is a photo that's got folks spooked. The featured photo, purportedly discovered from the depths of a dusty archive, claims to capture one of the earliest moments of World War II. However, here's where the plot thickens. This snapshot was taken at a location steeped in eerie tales of a curse, haunted by the restless spirits of those who met a tragic end in a recent calamity. Now, the burning question. Is this spine-tingling photo a genuine artifact? offering a glimpse into the realm of the supernatural? Or is it merely a product of the internet's penchant for weaving ghostly myths? We dare not provide a definitive answer. Nevertheless, one thing's for certain, it sends shivers down our spines. So, explorers, we turn to you. Do you believe this photo holds a connection to the spirit world? Or is it a crafty manipulation using Photoshop wizardry? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below as we eagerly await your verdict. Number 5. Sleeping Whales Giant sperm whales are truly majestic creatures. We've learned a lot about them through research, but one of their most intriguing behaviors remains a mystery. How they sleep. Imagine coming across a pod of these massive whales seemingly napping. 
It's a rare sight, and researchers are still trying to understand everything about their sleep habits. Here's what we do know. Whales only spend about 7% of their day catching some sleep, usually in 10 to 15 minute naps. But how they sleep is what truly stuns scientists and nature enthusiasts alike. Instead of lying down like most animals, sperm whales sleep vertically, floating upright and motionless in the water. This strange position is called drift diving. But don't be fooled by how peaceful they look. Whales never truly enter a deep sleep. They keep half of their brain active for two crucial reasons, to avoid drowning and to surface quickly for air. Remember they are mammals, even if they spend most of their lives underwater. Number 4. The Danakil Depression The Danakil Depression in Ethiopia is a place so extreme, it feels like another planet. This fierce and otherworldly landscape is a searing cauldron of heat, salt, sulfur, and volcanic activity. It's one of the most inhospitable places on Earth. Imagine this. It sits over a hundred meters below sea level, making it one of the lowest and hottest places on the planet. Temperatures often skyrocket above 50 degrees Celsius, that's 122 degrees Fahrenheit, turning the environment deadly for any prolonged human exposure. But despite the scorching heat, the Danakil Depression boasts a stunningly colorful world thanks to its rich mineral content. You'll find bright yellow sulfur fields, green acid ponds, and vast white salt flats, making it look like an alien landscape. As beautiful as it is, don't be fooled by its vibrant colors. These acid ponds are unforgiving. The liquid is so potent it can burn through your skin, and the sulfur fumes are toxic if inhaled. Here's the surprising part. Even though it's inhospitable, the Danakil Depression isn't entirely lifeless. Microscopic extremophiles thrive in these harsh conditions, and local people even brave the scorching heat to mine salt from the vast flats, carrying on an ancient tradition passed down through generations. Number 3. Fleas Emerging from the Sand Before we dive into the next segment, a quick heads up. If you're someone who gets a bit queasy at the sight of clustered holes, or if you're easily grossed out, you might want to skip ahead. In this short clip, we're witnessing a rather uncommon occurrence, the emergence of hundreds, maybe even thousands of sea fleas from the sandy shores. Now let's talk about these tiny critters. They're actually minuscule crustaceans with a taste for flesh. Their usual menu consists of dead marine creatures like fish, crabs, seabirds, and every now and then, they'll stumble upon a whale carcass. You've probably encountered them during your beach outings before. They tend to lurk in the sand or shallow waters, and they can leave you feeling quite itchy. They're so small that they're easy to miss, measuring anywhere from half to one centimeter. Now the good news is they're not venomous, so there's no need to panic if you come across them. However, there's been a case where a teenager came out of the water with his foot covered in blood, and these tiny ocean fleas were the prime suspects. A swarm of sea fleas can actually cut through human skin, especially if you're just standing around on the beach. Since they feast on decaying flesh, it's best to keep moving to prevent them from latching onto your feet and taking a nibble. Number 2. Crooked Forest The Crooked Forest in Poland is definitely a head-scratcher. Imagine 400 pine trees planted around 1930, all bending sharply to the north and then curving back upright. What an odd sight. And here's the thing. Even scientists haven't cracked the code on why these trees grow in this bizarre J-shape. While they're surrounded by a normal forest with straight pines, these 400 stand out like a crooked thumb. There are a few theories floating around, but none have been proven. Some say it could be aliens, chemicals in the soil, or even some strange weather event. One theory suggests enemy tanks from World War II flattened the young trees, causing them to grow crooked but that wouldn't explain why only a small area is affected. Another theory involves some crafty farmers who supposedly manipulated the trees to grow in a specific way, perhaps for use in furniture or shipbuilding. However, this one seems a bit far-fetched too. Number 1. The Red Beach Despite its name, the Red Beach in Dawa County, Panjin, China isn't actually a beach at all. Instead, it's one of the largest and most breathtaking wetlands in the entire world. So, where does the red part come in? The vibrant crimson flora blanketing the area creates the illusion of a red beach. Instead of sand, 
you'll find a vast expanse of red plants called Suaeta salsa. It's truly an otherworldly sight. But the red beach isn't just about the amazing scenery. This unique ecosystem is home to an incredible variety of wildlife, with over 260 species of birds and more than 300 kinds of other wild animals calling it home. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.